Yo, what's up guys, Gordy here, back in the video in today's video, I'll be doing a tier list of champions in anime fighting simulator. This video will include all the information you guys need about champions. So for example, which ones are good for strength, durability, chakra, sword, and etc. There are a lot of things that will be discussed in this video, so if you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed it even a little bit, make sure to hit that like button. Let's try to hit 50 likes in this video, and also, thank you guys so much for subscribing lately, I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me, and if you guys are wondering why my avatar is not normal this is because i'm on a new account right over here sensei zoro op this account will be used to play anime fighting simulator because my other account was too pro in it and i just wanted to start the game all over again yeah but i'm already up to quadrillions which is a pretty good amount and also these are my champion right over here i have marado zenitsu and devro and genas i don't know why i keep this i just need a good strength one but yeah i'll get that eventually yeah but these are my champions right over here and yeah now finally let's get into the tier list okay so all the tiers that i'm going to be ranking these champions on are must use epic good decent and trash on the basis of their stats and abilities these champions will be ranked in the according tiers so let's just start off with sanjo this one is one of the most common champions in the game this champion trains 40 percent of your agility every four seconds and buffs punch damage by 40 percent so this champion is utterly trash it cannot be used for strength durability chakra or anything like that it's only good for agility and that is not by much as well that's only 40% so I'm going to be ranking it at trash then we have levy levy trains 30% of your sword every four seconds for beginners this champion can be used for sword but still this champion only gives 30% of it every four seconds which is just not worth it so I'll just place it at trash right over here then we have Kilwa. Kilwa trains 45% of your speed every four seconds and nerfs strength damage by 10% so this champion is not even that good as well then we have Sakura the first chakra trainer training champion. This trains 20% of your chakra every 4 seconds and heals 3% of your health every 5 seconds. This champion can be used to fight bosses if you guys are really low level and you guys do not know how to fight bosses. But yeah, overall, it is better than these 3 down here. So I'll rank it at decent tier right over here. Then we get into the uncommon champions. The first one is Piccolo. Piccolo trains 20% of your strength and durability every 4 seconds. This one is good for strength and durability, but still there are a lot of champions which are really good for these stats so it just goes in the trash then we have all might right over here all might trains 35% of your strength and durability so as you guys can see it is much better than piccolo loop but still this champion deserves to be at trash tier because there are a lot more champions which are really good than this champion right over here the next champion we have is kaneki this champion only trains 30% of your strength every four seconds and specially buffs kagune damage by 15% and nerfs 20% incoming damage damage by Kagunes. So this champion also deserves to be at trash tier. As you guys can see, I'm ranking all the champions really harshly, but if you guys have noticed, I'm only ranking the common and uncommon ones right now. The legendary ones and the mythic ones and the fighting pass ones are down over here, so I'll be ranking them later in the videos, so just watch till the end. Okay, so now we get into the rare tiers. So from now on, the champions will get much better. Now we have Luffy. Luffy trains 40% of your agility and 35% strength every force second especially buffs fruit damage by 25% and nerfs incoming devil fruit damage by 20% this champion can be used in a lot of situations but still it does not rank any higher than trash tier then we have yami yami trains 45% of your sword every four seconds and buffs grammar damage by 25% and nerfs incoming grammar damage by 20% and also buffs sword damage by 20% so this champion is actually not that bad and deserves to be in the decent tier because it trains 45% of your sword then we have Deku. Deku trains 40% of your strength every 4 seconds and buffs quirk damage by 25% and nerfs incoming quirk damage by 20% as well. So this champion is also super bad right over here. Then we get into a bit of a good champion. Then we have Jotaro. Jotaro trains 45% of your durability every 4 seconds and especially buffs your stand damage by 20% and nerfs incoming stand damage by 20% as well. I'm just ranking it at decent because it trains 45% of your durability. Anything higher than that deserves to be in the good tier now we get into the more rare champions right over here we have jiraiya jiraiya trains 50 percent of your chakra every four seconds and nerfs incoming chakra damage by 25 percent so this champion deserves to be at the good 
tier. Then we have Naruto. Naruto trains 55% of your chakra every 4 seconds and nerfs all incoming chakra damage by 30% and buffs chakra damage by 20%. This champion is also good for chakra. Then we get into Tanjiro. Tanjiro trains 70% of your sword and nerfs all incoming sword slash damage by 30% and also buffs sword style damage by 25%. So it is a pretty decent champion in my opinion. Then we have Vegeta. Vegeta trains 50% of your strength every 4 seconds and nerfs all incoming strength damage by 30% and all damage is buffed by 1.6x when health is below 30% so if your health goes below 30% you will do almost double the damage that you guys were actually dealing so this champion is a pretty good one now we get into the legendary champions their chances of actually obtaining are below 1% but these champions are actually worth it the first legendary champion is Genos when the player reaches 20% of his health all damage are reduced to 30% of their original value Genos trains 65% of durability he also further reduces all damage by 15% and buffs all damage by 20% so this champion is actually really good for durability for mid level players then we have Boros Boros trains 30% of your chakra which is pretty bad 50% of your strength and durability nerfs all incoming player damage by 30% and buffs all damage by 20% but I'll just put it over here because of its 20% increase in all damage then we have Ichigo Ichigo trains 30% of your strength and 75% of your sword and 50% of your durability nerfs all player damage by 10% and buffs all damage by 40% so this is a really good champion then we have Sasuke Sasuke trains 80% of your chakra and after every player kill all damage increases by 80% for 20 seconds which is a really OP ability to have by a champion then it further goes on and nerfs all damage by 25% and buffs all damage by 50% which is just too insane so this champion obviously deserves the epic rank then we have kakashi kakashi trains 80 percent of chakra as same as sasuke but there's a secret ability to this champion as well there is a 15 percent chance to dodge any attack when being hit and further on this champion nerfs all incoming damage by 35 percent and buffs all damage by 40 percent so this champion is pretty good as well then we get into the really really rare champions then we have goku goku trains 75 percent of your strength and 40 percent of your durability after every player kill your damage doubles for 10 seconds nerfs all incoming damage by 10% and buffs all damage by 40% so this is a really good champion as well we have Asta this champion only trains 50% of strength and 10% of durability but makes up for that by nerfing all incoming damage by 25% and buffing all damage by 20% he further nerfs all strength and punch damages by 80% and buffs strength and punch damage by 70% to top it off when you're using him and you are under 10% health additionally nerfs all damage by another 70% so in total your damage will be reduced by 95% which is just too insane but you need to have 10% health which is just a big loss in my opinion this champion only deserves to be at a good spot because it doesn't train stats that well then we have one of my favorite anime characters Shanks Shanks trains 85% of your sword 50% of your strength and 50% of your durability nerfs all incoming damage by 10% and buffs all damage by 40 also, this champion has a secret ability as well. At 50% health, 50% of all damage received will be redirected to the enemy's back for 5 seconds which is just a big big secret ability and it is one of the best in my opinion so this champion deserves to be at the epic spot right over here then we have itachi uchiha one of my other favorite characters from naruto this champion trains 80 percent of your chakra 20 percent of your strength and 20 percent of your durability he nerfs all incoming damage by 25 percent and and buffs all damages by 50 percent by being a really rare champion this champion comes with a secret ability as well well, when the player reaches 10% of his health, he will become immune to all attacks for 8 seconds, which is just an unbelievable secret ability and it is one of my favorite as well. Because if you guys have less than 10% health, basically you guys are invincible. Then we have Orin, the rarest champion in the game. This champion trains an unbelievable of 90% durability and 75% strength. When a player is below 50% health, their damage reduction increases by 45%. On top of that, all strength specials and abilities increase by 55% damage so this champion is a must use in my opinion then we get into the really special champions I'm talking about Endeavor and Madara these champions can be obtained by tournament shop each worth for 30k crown points and 35k crown points so first let's talk about Endeavor Endeavor trains 50% of chakra 65% of strength and 30% of durability
Tootsie. Nerfs all incoming damage by 20% and buffs all damages by 35%. And by having Antivore equipped, you guys will have no stun effects from enemies. This is just an unbelievable ability and it is really good in PvP and tournament dimension. So this champion deserves to be at the must use tier. Then we have Madara Uchiha. Madara trains 90% of his chakra and that's it. But 90% of chakra is a pretty good offer. When a player is at 25% health, he will become immune to attacks for 5 seconds. It's just like Itachi's but Itachi's is just for 8 seconds and it is just for 5 seconds but you will awaken the ability at 25% health which is just a really broken ability. And further on, it also nerfs all player damage by 10% and buffs all damage by 40% and that's just a OP benefit as well so it's in the must use category. And all the champions you guys see over here are from the fighting passes. Some of them are received from the fighting pass 1, 2, 3 and 4. The first one we have here is Kirito. Kirito trains 70% of your sword and 25% of your strength and 45% durability. Nerfs all damage by 15% and buffs all damage by 35%. At 20% health, all damage will be doubled. So this is a pretty decent champion but I would not rank it higher than good tier because it is only good in sword and the other stats can be obtained by other champions. Then we have Asuna. Asuna trains 85% of your sword and 50% of your durability. She nerfs all incoming damages by 40% and buffs all outgoing damage by 30%. Further on, she nerfs 50% of incoming sword skill damage and buffs sword damage by 30%. When health reaches 10%, all damage is nerfed by 35%. So this champion does a lot of abilities and I would say it is a pretty epic champion. Then we have Gon. Gon trains 50% of strength, 50% of durability and 50% chakra. It's a 3 in 1 champion and he's pretty decent for new players. He nerfs all incoming damage by 35%, he nerfs chakra attacks by 40% and buffs chakra attacks by 50%. So he's an overall really good champion but doesn't deserve to be more than a good tier. Then we have Melodas. He trains an unbelievable 90% of your strength and 80% of your durability. He nerfs all incoming damages by 50% which is just a huge bonus. Overall he nerfs all damage by 50% and buffs all outgoing damage by 35%. So this champion is a must use in my opinion. Then we have Shinro. Shinro trains 70% of speed, 45% of durability and 55% of chakra. And also he doubles all burn damage. This champion is pretty useless in my opinion and is going to be ranked at decent tier. Then we have Mihawk. Mihawk trains 90% of your sword and 70% of your durability. Buffs all damage by 30% and nerfs all incoming damage by 25%. When at 20% health, all damage is buffed by 30%. This champion is really good but does not deserve to be at must use because there are other champions which are better in the same category. Then we have Escanor. Escanor trains 60% of sword, 50% of durability and 45% strength. He doubles all your damage and nerfs all incoming damage by 50% when it's daytime. This champion is pretty useful in the tournament dimension and I would say it's an epic champion right along with Mihawk. Then we have Zenitsu. Zenitsu trains an unbelievable of 99% sword, basically 100% sword and trains 70% of durability. That's why I was saying there is one more champ which is better than Mihawk. After training those stats, he buffs all outgoing damage by 20% and nerfs all incoming damage by 30%. Further on, buffs outgoing store cell damage by 40% and at 20% health, all outgoing damage is buffed by 55%. So if you guys have sword style equipped and you're below 20% health, you guys will deal an additional 95% damage. So it is just an unbelievable champion to use while you're training your sword and durability. Then we have Bakugo. Bakugo trains 75% strength, 75% chakra and 30% durability. Reduces damage by 50% and buffs all damages by 40%. When below 25% health, all croc damage is buffed by an additional 40%. So this champion is a really good one but still deserves to be at the epic category. Then we have one of the strongest champions in the game, Pebble Lee. He trains an unbelievable of 95% strength which is the highest in the game and 90% durability. Trains 50% speed and 50% agility, buffs all outgoing damage by 50% and nerfs all incoming damages by 50%, which is the highest so far. And by being a really rare champion, this champion also comes with a secret ability. There's a 5% chance to teleport behind the attacker and kick them for a damage and a knockback. 
that is not one of the useful abilities but still it is one of the opiest. Then we get into the second last champion in the game. We have Marco the Phoenix. Marco trains 90% chakra and 95% durability which is the highest in the game. Buffs all outgoing damage by 50% and nerfs all incoming damages by 35%. It regenerates 50% HP instantly and heals 6% of your health every 5 seconds. So it is essentially double the stuff that Sakura does in the healing department and has another secret ability with it. So it has to be in the must use category. Then we have Ohaku. This in my opinion is one of the worst fighting pass champions out there. It trains 60% of chakra along with 40% strength and durability. He buffs all outgoing damage by 40% and nerfs all incoming damage by 25%. Furthermore, she buffs outgoing quirk damage by 35% and nerfs incoming damage by 25%. So she's a good champion if you guys use it with quirks but in my opinion it is not the best champion out there for quirks and stuff like that. So I will just rank it at decent in my opinion. So this was my final tier list and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. Let's try to hit 4k subscribers before the end of May and yeah thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.